Okay, about about grey skies. Um, it started when I was between contracts with uh, banks. Things were very, very slow. It was a hot summer. It's very boring just looking at websites, so I decided to do something useful. And I started and I started writing about a barbed wire fence which stretched as far as the eye could see in either direction across the flat, almost featureless Kansas plains, dividing a confederacy and the United States of America. This was about two and a half, three years ago, I suppose. And George Bush was wrecking the world. And I thought, basically, the idea for it came as the what if America, or part of America, had espoused officially the values that George Bush seemed to be pushing onto uh -huh. America at that time. In other words, a militaristic, um, fascistic society which relied on violence as the main method of settling disputes. Um, a fairly narrow view of religion um, with very little tolerance for dissenting points of view. And that's how the whole thing started off. Um, basically as a piece of almost fantasy writing, a, a dystopia. And then suddenly it took on a life of its own. The character I'd started off with, who started off basically as an illustration of the society, developed a personality, he developed skills, he made friends, the friends had other skills, and suddenly I had a whole world, and I was really pleased about that. The whole thing about the airship um, was fun. I mean, I've always been interested in airships. You know, I actually wangled myself a flight on the Goodyear blimp in the UK about 25 years ago. Um, amazing experience. It's nothing like flying in a plane. Uh, it's, it's quite unique. Um, I mean, one thing is, as you fly along, cloud field, the bow hits a thermal, and you've got to spin the elevator wheel to bring the elevators down, and then the tail hits the thermal. So you're constantly pitching, very much as if you're in a boat riding waves. And apparently this was a big, big thing in the long, uh, rigid uh, Zeppelins. Um, the elevator people were anticipating the thermals which they could see coming, and they were constantly adjusting the elevator wheel to keep things level. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's fascinating, the, the mechanics of airships are quite fascinating. And then suddenly something really hit me, um, by chance. 98% of the world's known helium reserves were in the Confederacy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a very good reason for the Germans to make an alliance with the Confederate States, and that provided another plank in the story, and then everything just came from there. 